God! I'm so pissed! I just did like a 10 minute recording and all of a sudden ScreenFlow was like, hey, fuck you. Uh, you redo your recording because, oh, you know, our program sucks dick and fudge! So, now I have to do this again and, and I was in the middle of my tutorial and this is what we got. So I'm going to have to do it over again, but no biggie. God. I just love teaching people to do it again. <sighs> oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, it's really hot in here. I wish it wasn't so hot in here. It would really help if it wasn't. Oh, by the way, let me do my intro again. All right, so this is what we're going to... This is not exactly what we're going to be creating, but this is something I've been working on for the past two days, and I'm kind of stuck at this. And I'm going to do more to it, but I'm just not too sure. But I'm going to show you how to create a planet, a realistic planet, and a star field like you see in the picture right here. And if you guys want, you guys can request request, request a tutorial for this uh, design that I made. Uh, it took me a long time to make. But if you want, I'll take my time and make a tutorial for it. Um, just give me, you know, like the video. If I get a certain amount of likes, then I'll do a tutorial. Okay. Let's get to it. Go to File New, and then we're gonna make this like a wallpaper size. So 19, blah, 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 blah. shit, 1920, 1920 by 1200. Uh, if you want to name it, just name it Space. All right, and we want to unlock this layer. Man, I am so lazy right now. I'd now want to do this over again. You know what? It's like 90 degrees outside, and it's 8:30. Mm. Totally cool. So unlock this and then go to, you want to fill this layer with black. So fill black. Alright. Okay. Alright, now this is how we're going to make our planet. Go to File New. Um, 1500 by 1500. And there's two, there's two textures that I will provide below that you can use if you want. But if you want to go find your own texture, then so be it. But... I like to use this texture right here. So just either drag and drop into your canvas like I did, or you can go to File, Place, and then select the picture you want. But this way is easier for me. So if this ra if this layer isn't rasterized already, you want to right click on it and go to Rasterize Layer. And what we were going to do next is go to Filter, Distort, Spherize. And then we want to make them mount to 100. Mode normal. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then we want to go to our uh, elliptical tool right here. And what we're going to do. Why is it white right there? Why is there a white bar? That's not cool, bro. I don't understand what's going on. Hold on. Let me try to fix this. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what the fudge? Oh, oh, oh. It was just a texture, apparently, that wasn't fitted. All right, sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the corner of the canvas like so. Make sure it's not outside the canvas like this. You want to make sure these two corner lines... Uh, I can't, you, I can't, I'm pointing at it like you guys can see. Just do like I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, bam. That should be good. And then drag it to the bottom corner, bottom right corner, and select your planet. And then edit, copy. My throat is dry. Paste into this canvas, like so. And then we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And now we're going to start adding our effects to the planet, like, um, like the shadowing and the atmosphere and color and uh, other stuff. Oh my god, dude. Why am I sweating? So, um, first of all, we want to uh, add color. So what we're going to do is create a layer above the planet layer. Let's just name this planet so we don't get lost. I can type. And then we're just going to... Alright, so, you know what? What am I doing? Don't get... Delete that layer you just made. And what we're going to do is go to this adjustment icon, adjustment layer icon, and um, select hue and saturation. Okay. And uh, we want to create a clipping mask so it only affects the layer below it. Okay. So right click on that and create clipping mask. 
So you guys, for the people who don't know what a, cl a clipping mask is, it uh, basically only affects a layer below it, nothing else. Like this, see? So it only affects this layer. Alright, so double click on this little icon. And now we're going to colorize this planet. I usually like to do a blue and up the saturation. So, yeah, that's a good color. Do whatever you please. Um, I like that color because I'm gay. Um, so, anyways, uh, make a new layer above this one. Yes, AC's on. Um, <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is uh, command, left click on this layer right here, on the planet layer, so it selects the planet. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is creating a shadow, a dark side of the planet. Okay. Doing like hand gestures and stuff. I'm like, we. So go to your gradient tool. Rahar. And we are going to make a custom gradient. Just like this. Just like what you see on the screen. So get the gradient, uh, the little gradient bar to this right here. Uh, black, 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 and then white up here. Okay, so just do that. And then what we are going to do is simply drag from the top, like right here, and to the bottom. And if you want to have like a like a bigger shadow, like dark side, just come in more, or like come in less, or whatever. You get the point. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to about uh, right here, sign. All right, so we're going to deselect now. And if you can see these this white like line going on down here around the planet, we're going to delete that. So take the eraser tool and um and select the soft brush. Make sure it's not this one, soft brush. And we're just going to gently erase this. Make sure the line is gone. Cuz it's ugly. We don't want you there. So just a racy, racy, racy. Yeah. All right. I don't think I'm gonna go. No. All right. So anyway, sorry about that. Um. So just to make sure it's all gone, because later on we're gonna need to add a outer glow effect. If it's not all gone, then I'll really affect this. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, we want to add our like atmosphere and whatnot. So have this layer selected, and then go to effects, go to blending options, and go to inner glow. And we want to select a color that's very similar to the planet color, like this. And then we want to up this up passing to 100 and select this to multiply. And let's do about 40. I don't like the colors, so actually, no, the size is not even size 120, 117. I don't like the color. Whatever, that's cool. I don't give a crap. Um, and we want to also add an outer glow. Oh, see, I didn't erase it good enough. Fuck. We'll do that after this. Um. So the atmosphere, what color we want it? We want it like a light blue. Uh, maybe that's too light. Yeah, so I, uh, who cares? <laughs> um, and let's set this to about 60. And then the size to about, let's do, oh, G. Wilkers, 27. Yeah, that's a good color, yeah. And let's erase the rest of this. I, I thought I erased it all, but apparently not. So yeah. So as you can see, it's coming out very nicely. Very, very nicely. I kind of prefer without the outer glow, the atmosphere. Maybe it's just the color that's bothering me. Let's try to add more color. Oh, darker blue does. Pretty good. Alright, so. We got our beautiful planet. If you want, you can add more adjustment layers. Um, 
if you want, you can add a curves layer. Make sure the uh, the clipping mask is on, so it affects the only planet layer. Um, double click on the icon, and let's either make it brighter or darker to see what looks best. So that's brighter, and this is darker. I prefer a little bit brighter, like that. Yeah, whatever. Whatever fits your needs, dude. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you guys how to create a star field and how to create our own brush, uh, uh, own star brush. It only takes a few seconds. So let's just let's make a canvas thousand by a thousand, and let's uh, fill this a black. Edit, fill black, and this is going to be fairly simple. Select your brush tool. Make sure you select um, the hard round, not any of the soft brushes. Um, what the fuck? Why did it just do that on me? Soft brush. And that's way too big. So let's, for our small stars, let's do three. And let's randomly just place stars wherever. And remember, let's try to make this as realistic as possible. In space, there's a crap load of stars. So we're going to make a bunch of small ones. Wow, I just keep doing that. I did ah whatever I'm just gonna leave that alone and now for the medium sized uh, let's do five and let's not do as many because they're trying to make it realistic and for big stars I like to do nine so, I only do a few of these. Try to place them in empty spots. So, yeah, that's about good, yeah? Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so, what we're going to do now is um, go to Image and Adjustments and Invert. And boom, you inverted it. Now, we want to go to Image, oh, I'd actually Edit. To find brush set, unless this name is Starfield, bitch. And now that we we just made our own brush, did you see that right there? And now let's go back to our planet, Vengi. Let's select all this. And let's just drag it down. It's a good looking planet. Um. And so let's, let's just create a layer below all that. And let's just start placing our stars. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. All right, so make sure you have your little new brush star field thingy selected. And then go to this tab. Go to brush, the brush settings. We want to click on shape dynamics. And make sure that the angle jitter is probably somewhere around 65. Okay. And, yeah, that's about it. So... And let's just make this smaller. It's a little bit too big. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Or whatever. Wait, what? what? Okay, uh, the stars are barely noticeable. Maybe we should go up a little bit more. All right. So let's just click. Is it randomized? Is it okay? Cool, it's flipping. So evenly distribute, distribute them, and you get you can hardly see the small stars, but that's whatever. Um.
the planet, in my opinion, is a little bit too big. So, it kind of looks crappy, so let's just, like, randomly delete some of these stars. Um, I don't know, hold on, I'll just compare it to these stars. I guess they look the same, but these kind of look, like, pixelated, in my opinion. But whatever, hopefully yours doesn't turn out that way. I don't have a recording for 15 minutes. Holy shit balls. Okay. <laughs> so, to randomly delete, we want to select our eraser tool and um, select transfer and scatter. And then make sure you got a soft, soft brush selected. And, okay, wow, that's not even working. Scatter is not even up, that's why. Okay, whoa! Make sure all that. So just like that. Yeah, yeah, it's just like that. Um, so it doesn't look so you know gay looking. Um, so I mean that's about it. Um, I mean if you had like a if you wanted to make it look cool, you can add like a flare, like a sun flare or like a light. So it's hitting the top of the planet right there and casting a shadow. Um. Yeah, but I've been working on this for quite a while, so, I mean, yeah. But that, I mean, you can use your uh, creativity to go, you know, further in this, and good luck to you, and hopefully that you can make some cool stuff with this, and yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like, a comment, well, maybe if you want to comment, comments are a really big deal to me, but a like and a favorite will do just fine. Um, I would like for this video to get out there and so I can help people. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more Photoshop tutorials. I think I might do some more. Um, thanks.